when you talk about hip hop, it is a it is a political tool uh, to spread uh, the the word. And the word at the Center for American Progress National Conference in Woodley Park, attended by hundreds of college students from across the nation is that the hip-hop generation plans to take the 2008 presidential campaign by storm. Uh, we've actually doubled uh, the young voter turnout, 30 and under, uh, in the 2008 primaries. But one thing many people might not know is the makeup of the constituency of voters who call themselves the hip-hop generation. There's not a hip-hop generation. There's a hip-hop community that's made up of multiple generations. I mean, at 35, I grew up with hip-hop, and I'm not in the same generation as as a 15-year-old listening to Soldier Boy. The hip-hop generation is all generations, from the children that aren't even born to the old people sitting in old folks' home. It's not all what the mainstream says hip-hop is. It's you know coming from you know from a, from a lower level and actually trying to strive for something better. I'm not sure there's really that distinctive social group. Just people who are kind of conscious of the struggle of the inner cities and. People like that who really want to see our communities that have kind of been forgotten about get better. It's more than just music, it's, it's life. So how does the upcoming presidential elections affect their lives? I was just turned away from health care at 22. I just got off my parents' plan and I was trying to apply and I'm like, if I'm 22 and perfectly healthy and I can't get health care, like that's really scary to me. So that's something also really important in the upcoming election. And what should the hip hop community be asking themselves before they vote in November? We have to ask ourselves the question, how long do we want this war to go on? We have to ask ourselves the question, what kind of judges do we want on the federal bench? Um, we have to ask the question, what do we ultimately want education funding to look like um, for higher education? We have to ask ourselves the question, what do we want health care to look like? Those are the things that are at stake. WTOP's political analyst Mark Plotkin says there's a lot more at stake in the future than right now. It seems to me that uh, economic uncertainty uh, might be the uh, greatest challenge and Social Security, Medicare, they seem eons in the future but I think they should be concerned about it because one day they're going to get older and they're going to have to face this and they're going to be part of that generation. And while young people may not think all the time that's those sexy or important issues, I don't care if how into politics you are, you mad as hell when you go to the pump and you're paying $80 to fill up a Hyundai. In Woodley Park, I'm Marquette Smith, WTOPnews.com.